Hey what's up mga beast so for this video ang pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa continuity test daw Paano nga ba natin itetest yung isang function kapag continuous siya at a given uh, x equals a di ba yung function natin f of x Now to explain the concept of continuity masasabi natin guys uh, na continuous yung isang yung isang function kapag yung graph niyan ay pwede mong i-graph ng hindi tinataas yung lapis o yung ballpen na ginagamit mo for example pag i-graph ko yung f of x tapos ganyan yung graph niya, ibig sabihin continuous yan kasi nag-graph ko to ng buo na hindi ko kinilangang uh, itaas yung lapis or ballpen ko. Parang ganun yung uh, simplest explanation niya. Pero for example, meron tayong graph na ganyan tapos ito may pag siya tapos may pag ganun. Tinaas natin yung... Uh, Tinaas natin yung ballpen ng ginraph natin yung buong uh, yung buong function kaya it means discontinuous siya hindi siya continuous alright guys pero dito hindi matatagalan tayo kapag yung way na para malaman natin kung continuous or hindi is always to graph it will take a very long time so we will try to do that algebraically alright so continuity test para malaman natin guys kung continuous ba yung function or hindi we have this three step continuity test Alright, kailangan masatisfy lahat ng tatlong condition na to para masabi natin na yung f of x, yung function natin, is continuous at, at a given x equals a. Alright, so first condition guys, dapat mas, yung function natin should exist, it should have a value, hindi siya pwedeng indeterminate, hindi siya pwedeng infinity, it should have a value guys. Alright, next. Sa ating second condition, dapat yung mag, dapat mag-exist yung limit ng function natin. Kapag hindi yan nag-exist, guys, well, it means na uh, hindi na satisfy yung condition na to, so discontinuous agad siya. And lastly, guys, dapat yung answer mo sa number 2 tsaka answer mo sa number 1 should be equal. Yung limit ng function tsaka yung value ng function should be equal, guys. So kapag yung answer nito is 3 and yung answer nito is 3, tapos so it means 3 equals 3, all conditions are satisfied, then you can conclude na it, the, the, the function is continuous. Pero guys, kapag may isa man dito na hindi na sunod or isa na uh, hindi na satisfy, you can already conclude na discontinuous yung function mo at that given x equals a. For example, let's say this, that this is 3 and this is uh, 5. 3 is not equal to 5. That it means na discontinuous yung function mo. For example, sa first condition pa lang, f of a Naging indeterminate form na agad yan, ibig sabihin, hindi na nag exist Ibig sabihin, discontinuous na yung function, alright? So, kahit ini sa tatlo na yung nalabag, you can conclude already that the function is discontinuous. Alright, so let's try solving some problems. Okay, so, test natin kapag yung function na to ay continuous at x equals 2. So, let's try. Okay, first condition, guys. Find, let's find the value of the function. And to find the value of the function, we just need to substitute the uh, the 2 dito sa ating function. So that's gonna be 2 squared minus 9 times 2 plus 10 over 2 minus 2. That's 4 minus 18 plus 10 over 0. That's 4 minus 18, guys, is the, uh, negative 14 plus 10 is negative 4 over 0. And negative 4 over 0, guys, is uh, infinity. And when we have the value of infinity, it doesn't exist, guys. Alright? It means that your function here, first condition pa lang, hindi na siya nag-exist. It means this function is already discontinuous at x equals 2. Alright? So, yun. Kapag natapos, kapag uh, first condition pa lang, hindi na, na nag-satisfy, you don't need to find the limits of uh, itong number 2 tsaka number 3 because it doesn't make sense. Because what you're just finding is the is kung continuous siya or hindi. Otherwise, kapag ni-require sa problem na kailangan hanapin yung limit niya, then solve for it. Pero for this uh, video, guys, we'll just try to determine if it's continuous or not. Next, dito naman tayo. Okay, let's uh, find first f of a. Alright, f of a, guys, ito substitute natin yung 10. That would gonna be uh, x raised to 10. A joke lang. 10 squared, guys, it's 100. So, it means it exists. Now, you, let's find for the limit. The limit as x approaches 10 of the function x squared. Alright? Ngayon, guys, to find for the limit, we just need to substitute. It's uh, the same because hindi naman siya rational function. We don't, we don't need simplification. So, magiging 10 squared pa rin yan. We have 100. Now, 
third third condition dapat equal yung value ng number 1 mo tsaka number 2. So let's see kung equal ba. Is 100 is 100 equal to 100 basically tama. So we can conclude that this function at x equals 10 is continuous guys. All right? Pwede natin siyang mag-graph without lifting up our pen. Okay, lastly. Dito naman tayo. We have a function here, f of x is equal to 1 over x minus 1 squared. Now, first again, let's find for the value of the function. So, first, that's f of a. So, substitute na lang natin yung value ng 1. That's gonna be 1 minus 1 squared. That's again 1 over 0. That's infinity. It doesn't exist. Therefore, we conclude that this function is discontinuous. Alright? Ganun lang, guys. Ito... Uh, kapag may isang nalabag, conclude that it's discontinuous. So, ngayon naman, for this problem, this is a piecewise function. Itetest natin at x equals negative 1 kung continuous ba ang, ang function natin or hindi. Alright? So, again, it's the same process kahit piecewise function yan. We do the three the continuity test. Itest muna natin kung nag-exist yung function. Okay, let's do first the function. So, to fight for the function, since this is a piecewise function, tignan natin kung saan nag-satisfy yung negative 1. Saan ba naka-include yung negative 1? Basically guys, it's here, dito. So ito yung kukunin natin na uh, uh, function. Because when x is negative 1, this, you use this function. So that's because we are finding negative 1, ito yung gamitin natin. So that's gonna be x squared minus 2. Let's say that is the first condition. x squared guys, substitute natin yung negative 1. Negative 1 squared minus 2. Negative 1 squared is positive 1 minus 2. Okay, so, we have the answer, negative 1. So, f of a is negative 1. So, uh, next step, so, ibig sabihin, nag-exist siya. So, next step, again, dito, find naman natin yung limit. Alright, guys. Uh, saan na yan? Okay, guys. Guys, kapag naghahanap tayo ng limit ng piecewise function, we get the, we, we get the limit from the left, approaching from the left, and approaching from the right. Now, uh, kapag nag-equal yung value ng limit approaching from the left and approaching from the right, then we uh, then the limit exists, alright? So, let's try to solve that so you can visualize it. Now, let's find first for the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Left, negative yung sa that, that's the, what it means. Now, Sa ano ba yung mga values sa left ng negative 1 mag-approach from negative 1? Basically, that's negative 1.5, negative 2, ganun. So, saan yung naka-include? Dito yun sa taas na to sa piecewise function na x is less than negative 1 kasi dito naka-include yung negative 1.5, negative 2, and negative 3, and so forth, diba? Because they are approaching negative 1. So, I will use this function. So, that's gonna be negative absolute value of 2x plus 1. Alright, let's evaluate for the function. Evaluating for the function, let's just do simple substitution. Uh, let's substitute negative 1 to the value of x. So that's 2 times negative 1 plus 1. Don't forget the absolute value. We have negative 2 times negative 1, guys, is negative 2 plus 1. That's negative. Negative 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. Alright, that's absolute value. Pero naka absolute value siya ibig sabihin anything inside this uh, absolute value will become positive so magiging negative 1 so pag nilabas na ngayon yan yung sagot natin would be equal to negative 1 so the limit from to the left is negative 1 now isolve naman natin yung limit approaching from the right all right so next is to find the limit of limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right so, ibig sabihin, from to, uh, from the right naman siya, ibig sabihin yung mga values dito, ano ba yung mga values na nag-approach to negative 1 from the right? So, that's uh, 0, that's uh, negative 0.5, and that's included in this uh, piecewise function, guys, dito sa baba. Kasi, uh, x is greater than negative 1, so that's uh, uh, 0, that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, so dito natin kukunin. Dito nag-satisfy yung from the right to the approaching from the right. So, ito, kukopyahin natin yung function na ito. That's 1 over 2x plus 1. Extend lang natin yun. Alright, guys. So, next thing to do, guys, is to evaluate for the limit. And to evaluate for the limit is simple substitution again. That's 1 over 2 times negative 1 plus 1. 1, 2 times negative 1, guys, it's negative 2 plus 1. 1 over... Negative 2 plus 1, guys, is negative 1. Tama ba? Yep, I hope so. And evaluate, that's negative 1. 
Alright. Pag equal, yung limit from the left, approaching from the left and approaching from the right, they are equal, negative 1 and negative 1. Therefore, we can conclude that the limit exists and that's negative 1. Pero guys, for example, may mga cases na na-solve nyo na yung limit from the left is, uh, approaching from the left is 3 and uh, approaching from the right is 5. Kapag hindi sila equal guys, therefore the limit does not exist. Alright? Hindi siya nag exist So, since sa case na to, nag-exist sila, the value of the limit is negative 1. Alright? So, guys, gagawin nyo lang tong getting the limit approaching from the left and approaching from the right when it's a piecewise function. Commonly, doon don yun nangyayari. Now, since natapos natin yung first condition, check. We have a value that's negative 1. Second condition, finding the limit, check. It's negative 1. Now, what's the third condition? Balik tayo dito. Third condition, dapat yung value ng limit tsaka value ng function should be equal. And let's see if that's if they are equal. Definitely, yes. The uh, value of the function and the value of the limit of the function is the same. It's both negative 1. So, let's just write here condition number 3. They are met because negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So basically, we can conclude now that our piecewise function, this function, guys, is continuous at x is equal to negative 1. Alright? So yeah, that's it for our continuity continuity test, guys. So mga basic examples pa lang to, but uh, the concept there is dapat masatisfy yung tatlong, tatlong uh, conditions na to so you can conclude that it's continuous but if not then it's discontinuous all right so if you have some questions comment it down below thank you for watching please like share and subscribe mga bees and yeah that's it bye bye mga bees